All right, Laurie, so uh, we have Candice Bessie here with us. Candice, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Yeah, how does it feel to be doing your first OB? Very exciting. I'm yeah. loving the vibe. It's like, a, how was your weekend? Great, it's very chilled. Yeah, nice what did you get up to? One. Yeah, just a bit of um, more live music. I do that every weekend. Yeah, don't you do. I? You're a live <laughs> music lover, Candice. We hope to see you at Summer in the City Unplugged. Oh, definitely going to be there. So, Candice, today we're talking about the fine art of surrender and letting go. We are, we are indeed. Yeah. So what does it mean to surrender? Let's start there. Okay. So surrendering is allowing good things to come to us. Mm. So we know what we want in life, but then we think we know how it's going to come to us. So it's letting go of the how. Mm. And so the opposite to really cement this idea, the opposite of that is when we feel like we're swimming upstream, when we're forcing something and it just feels tight and it just has so many challenges. So whether it is a relationship that's not meant for us and we're just holding on to, holding on to and forcing or a, maybe a job. Um, so surrendering is letting go of how we think things should be mm. and allowing the good things to come. That's quite interesting because usually when you hear the word surrender, you kind of have a negative connotation surrounding it. But the way that you've just, uh, you've painted it is actually yes. quite positive. Yeah. It's yeah. very positive. People think it's giving up. They think it's like being apathetic and, and letting go. It's the complete opposite. It is. It's letting go of all the horrible stuff. So it's letting go of the worry. <laughs> it's letting go of the forcing. It's letting go of the stuff that's not meant for us and then allowing the good stuff to come. So not yeah. necessarily waving that white flag. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people no. I've heard when they hear the word surrender, it's like, oh, I'm weak now, you know, I'm giving up. And uh, this topic kind of makes me feel like I need to start thinking about this whole thing of acceptance, mm. you know, mm. and, 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 and what are the things that I'm powerless over? Can, right? 100%. And every week, Candace gives us these tools. Is there, a, is there a specific way? How do we surrender, Candace? Mm. So it is really about making a choice and then seeing the personal benefit that it's going to have for yourself. Yes. Um, there, there's an author by the name of Michael A. Singer, and he wrote a book called The Surrender Experiment. Mm. And what a beautiful book. For one year, he decided that for that entire year, he, whatever comes into his world, he's not going to say no to. Mm. Wow. So he built this little log cabin in the middle of the woods, and six months later, he went on a trip, and he came back, and somebody else had built their house on his property. Now, now, any person with any savvy would have said, hey, get out of here. But he remembered he was doing a surrender experiment. Wow. So he let it be. He wasn't allowed to say no. That today is one of the biggest yoga and meditation retreats in the whole entire world. People come to that place. And if he had said no to her, that would never, ever have happened. Wow, mm. that's amazing. It actually mm. reminds me of Shonda Rhimes wrote a book as well. Beautiful, where yeah. The, the whole year she was focusing on saying yes because she never actually, you know, she's Grey's Anatomy um, acclaim. Yes. And she never actually attended a lot of public events. And then someone said to her, you need to pursue more. Mm. And she made that whole year about yes. And she actually wrote a whole book about how beneficial the technique was. Love wow. that, love that. That's I want to get into the benefits, Candice, you know, because that's always like how I get so on certain things, mm. right? So it's it's very much about, first of all, how it feels physically in your body. Yeah. So it's swimming upstream. Think about it. You, you, you swim upstream. It feels terrible. Um, you're going to constantly have challenges. It feels so tight and it's so burdensome. So when you say, you know what, I don't know how this is going to come to me, but I know it's on its way. Yes. And now I'm going to be really open to to just awake. So I might be standing in a line at pick and pay and strike up a conversation with somebody behind me who happens to have something so similar, which I'd never have expected. Mm. Or somebody tags you on a post in Facebook or somebody gives you a book and it's exactly what you needed to read yeah. to take it to the next level. So it's about being aware and noticing that none of the stuff is coincidence. We are totally being guided. Mm, mm. Well, that's a powerful tool. Hey? Yeah. Mm. Reminds me a lot of, you know, the universal laws and I, I bring this up quite a lot on the show as well you know so what this makes me think of is the law of detachment mm. letting go yes and then we bring that to the law of allowance to just allow whatever is meant to happen mm. happen mm. right and just because we let go of certain things it doesn't necessarily mean it has a negative connotation no right, right? it's actually more positive than anything well yeah. maybe we should actually pose this to the listeners maybe they can write in and state what it is that they are trying to control and possibly need to surrender and let's see if we can expand the conversation yeah what is that Love thing that you're letting go of whether it's uh, an ex, for example, yeah, right, mm. or a resentment, Ooh. or maybe you really, really hate your job, but you 
stuck there. You feel stuck there. At least you're never stuck there. Stuck there. You feel stuck there. At least you're never stuck there. But you feel stuck there. And you're forcing it and you're spending 80% of your time in an unhappy environment. Oh, I don't mm. think anybody at Marshall Music feels that way. No, definitely <laughs> not. No, definitely they not. They don't look that way. No. <laughs> so let us know if uh, what uh, you're trying to control and need to surrender. 0848220938. Mm. And then, Candice, what are the uh, sort of daily activities for the next couple of days? Yes, so it's going to be one little activity every single day to help you to start to let go of the things that you're trying to control. And again, allowing the good stuff to come. Um, to follow us on Instagram, Growing Resilience Within, as well as Facebook, Grit to Grow. And then we are, it's, it's on Saturday, Sam. It's happening. It's a few days away. Wow. Yay. So if people are waiting for their external circumstances to change before they are truly happy, mm. they've got it all the wrong way around. They need to be happy before their external circumstances are going to change. And that's what we're going to show them how to do if they book their tickets on Saturday to feel good for ways. Beautiful. Through Quicket, um, they're going to search that event. So whatever it is, whether it's more money, a dream job, I don't know, we all have our dreams, a holiday, maybe a couch or a car. Mm. It's getting to those goals and that's what they're going to get. It it's really is going to be life-changing. They just need to take that step. Outstanding. Beautiful. So if you've seen on social media, it's all over uh, the Grit Grow page. Uh, and as Candice mentioned, it's about gifting yourself with these tools to thrive, right? Now, people are probably wondering what I'm going to be doing there. I don't think I can share much tools, but what I think would be quite beneficial is to perhaps share my story and my journey. You 100%. Know, and how I've built that resilience and how I've overcome a lot of my challenges. And, you know, even when it comes to life coaching, for example, mm. I didn't anticipate, you know, opening up a practice, mm. but I've realized that a lot of those tools that I was exposed to were so beneficial for my own life. Mm. So I'm happy Beautiful. to share that. Well, Marlene actually came through with a really nice message here a little bit earlier. Yeah. She said she had such a great time at Bailey's with Crash Car Burn on Saturday. Yes. And she didn't have a plus one, but she said, as a friend said, that is how you grow stronger. Beautiful. And it just shows That's you some allowing. Yeah, the allowing, letting Acceptance, it in. Acceptance, surrender to the situation, right. allowing, and I'm sure she had the time of her life. Seen the pictures? She did. Beautiful. <laughs> so, Candice, thank you so much. Any last words for our listeners? Just book your tickets. It's it's just a few days away, and I know lots of people get paid on the 25th. Where do we get tickets, Candice? So you're going to go straight onto the website, Quicket, and you're going to search the event, Feel Good for Ways. It comes up immediately, and get your friends to come. Let's create a community of people who are building each other up, who are supporting each other, and really taking control nice. of our lives versus expecting things to change. We really need to do something about it. Beautiful. Thank Stunning. you so much, Candice, for Thank joining you, us here. Thank you, ladies. And uh, we'll hear from you again on Friday. We will. Thank you. Candice Bester. The best. The best. <laughs> Mixing your favorite music on Mix 93.8.